where are we at? We are at the TF South Annual Student Art Show. What kind of challenges go into making this art show happen every year? Well, it's very challenging, um, but we have a lot of help. So we, um, as a class, the advanced classes, drawing, painting, sculpture, digital photography, they come down to the lobby, in the grand lobby, and they build the walls, and that takes an entire day, and then they hang all the artwork and display all the three-dimensional artwork, and we have a lot of help from our um, administrators and our maintenance staff to get this entire event to be successful and run smoothly, so it's a lot of work, but we love to do it. From beginning to end, how long would you say it actually takes to set up the art show? Well, we start and we think about it in September, and we put the, the form in to reserve the lobby, and then we start a couple months early, about December, January, ordering all the ribbons for the awards. Um, students make the design for the postcard invitation. So it's a couple months in advance to get everything organized and ready. Um, the show goes up in two days. It's up for a couple days. And um, so it's, it's a couple months worth of effort. It's a big event. The piece that you did, what inspired your piece? Uh, it's a country singer, uh, Tim McGraw, and I really like country music, so I decided to do Ahead of Tim McGraw. Is there a reason that you decided to paint in your sculpture more than the other ones? Because none of the other ones are painted besides yours. I, I like to be different, and I decided that there wasn't no other playheads going to be painted, so I was like, it'll look really good painted. What were the challenges that you had because you based your clay head off of someone specific? It was trying to get it to look like the picture. It was really hard. I was more trying to be a perfectionist and it wasn't going to be perfect. Do you have a favorite piece outside of one of your own pieces? It would have to be more of the spray paint can thingy. Okay, the 3D sculpture. Yeah. Okay. What class was the chair for and what made you pick the topic of the chair? Uh, this was for painting class. Uh, I picked David Saylor because he is the artist of, or the illustrator of the Harry Potter books, and I am a really big Harry Potter fan. You painted the chair with the covers. Is there a reason you picked his covers over all the other alternative covers that are for Harry Potter? I picked these covers because they are the ones that I grew up with, and I liked these ones the best because they had the most uh, like color and all that. Can you explain more about the chair on how you had to do it? Because it seems like there is a lot in uh, a lot of detail in some areas that are kind of small. And if there was any difficulties while painting the chair, uh, there were difficulties. It took me personally a year to paint the chair, uh, just because I wanted to make sure everything was detailed properly and just like exactly like the book covers. Do you have a favorite part of the chair that you painted or took the most time on? Yes, I, well, I didn't take the most time on it. I like the bottom of it just because it's crazy and I had original plans to like paint the Marauder's map on the bottom, but I'm like, no, that's going to take too long. So I just scribbled the Marauder's map and it's like kind of like a hidden secret. Can you find it? Do you have any other pieces in the show? I do have other pieces. I have a plaster cast, which is a plaster cast of my face and my hand, and I did a mask also. I also have a candle holder and a bookshelf with bookends. What do you think of the art show this year? I think there are some really great pieces in this year. It's probably one of the best I've seen. What made you choose the charcoal picture that you did? I thought it would be a good idea to do an original picture, so I had one of the other art teachers to take a picture of me to do the picture. So you didn't take a picture of yourself and then draw in the background? No, the background was all outside. It was all around the school too. What was your inspiration on making the stop sign red and the rest of it just in black and white? I decided to make the stop sign red because I thought it would be a good idea to make the stop sign kind of stand out and I thought it would be nice to make the, to add color to the picture. Was there a specific reason that you chose to put the camera in front of your face? Is that another form of art that you're into? No, I just like 
I thought it would be a good idea to get the aspect of the camera into the picture. Do you like the art show this year? The art show this year is very nice. I like it's nice to see different forms of art and different uh, different talents that other people have. that you did tell me the inspiration behind it if anything I would think it's stress from school there's not much meaning to all of my pieces but I think if anything stress it, it seems like there was a lot of emotion put into this piece because it's not only you ripping off your face but it seems like your hands are also melting yeah it's kind of just all flowing together um, I guess you could say there is a little bit of emotion there yeah What's the symbolic uh, meaning of you standing in the water in the piece? Uh, the water was actually an afterthought. Um, I wasn't originally going to add it in, but my teacher suggested it, and it just kind of made sense. What are the media forms that you used in this piece? It is um, pen and ink, Sharpie, and watercolor. I wanted it to have kind of a washed look, um, kind of faded, but still go over, going over it with the uh, pen and ink to make it vibrant. Do you like the art show this year? I do. I think it's really good this year. What was the inspiration behind your picture? Well, typically I'm not very great at expressing myself, so this piece was just a way to show people a little bit about myself. What is the media you used in the picture? Now, this is a mixed media piece. I used, um, excuse me, I used pen and ink, marker, color pencil, and pastel. What is your favorite part of this piece? Oh, I'd say the hair design. I was really quite proud of that. Did you have any challenges with this piece? Yes, graphic design is not my strong suit, so it was hard to incorporate design factor with drawing, because drawing is more of my forte. What was the criteria for the piece? Well, it was supposed to be a portrait of self and had to portray us in either abstract or realism. What media did you choose for your piece? I chose acrylic. It's my favorite to use. In the piece, do you have a specific part of it that is your favorite or that means the most to you? The part that would mean the most to me would be the light part of the painting because it portrays the hope that I always try to keep in mind even when things get rough or struggles become harder for me. The words within the piece, did you choose those or are they actually phrases? I chose words that were most important to me or words that meant the most to me, like inspiration, determination, and God or courage. Do you like the art show this year? Yeah, I really enjoy it. There are a lot of great pieces. What was the motivation behind your piece? Um, mostly because music makes like me like motivated to do like art pieces and all that stuff. So one of my favorite artists was Kendra Lamar. And I want to do like an extra special one where I just do all the songs that make up him as a person. So the motivation behind it was music. Through it, did you have any challenges because your shading was words instead of actually shading? Well, the actual struggle was the crown because I didn't know how to do it since it wasn't skin tone. It wasn't a lot of shading. It was a lot of jewels and all that. But in the end, I think I did okay. When you did it, did you just freehand a picture of him, or did you have it pre-drawn out before you put in the words? I had it pre-drawn, like the outline, and then I did the outline with the words, and then I did like one layer of words, and then a second layer for each shade. You like the art show this year? Yeah, it's pretty good. Like I've seen all the pieces, and you know, did it all good. As a teacher, how do you feel when you see the parents and the outside community come in? This, the building is so full right now, I'm thrilled. It's so great to see the students supported. Um, so much of what you hear in public schools is maybe the negative thing, and this gives us a chance to really celebrate the skills and the talents of all these amazing kids. So we love to see, we have administrators, we have board members, we have parents, friends, and we're just thrilled to see everyone here.